Hello guys, today we're going to be unboxing the Lasco Motion Heat Heater again and we're setting it up for winter of 2022. Now, yeah, it's stupidly cold down here. I don't, not, I don't know how accurate it is because it feels colder down here in my dad's house, but actually, I bet you it probably is this cold at dad's house because it's freezing last night. It's probably 55 at dad's house, but we're talking about mom's house right now. So, yeah, December 18th. So today we're going to be setting up the Lasco Motion Heat for December of 22. <clears throat> All right, so this thing, all we do set up is just, yeah, it's that easy. Let's take the cord out. Good thing it's not blue pug. So this is this is one of the duck heaters of all time. Which means it's one of my favorite, which means it is one of my favorite heaters of all time. Now, the house heat is still not working, but it's not in our priority because we got amazing space heaters like this. This heater will sit over here. And the next thing you know, the entire room will be warm. You know, this heater reminds me, this heater reminds me of a portable air conditioner. You have your intake. Usually the intake will be at the back. And the exhaust will be at the back, but... The intake's at the front and it blows out these nice louvers. So here it is. Let's go check the filter life. So all I gotta do is uh, aggressively ish pry off. Just literally just pry off. Yes. And, ooh. Now I don't have a vacuum on me right now, but it still seems like it'll get enough airflow. I wish this mesh filter could come out, or I would have been able to wash it down. So now. All I gotta do is just pop it back on. And the remote, I don't even know where the remote is. I must as well forget about the remote for now. Oof. Alright, this thing gonna kinda smell a little bit when it turns on. Here it is. This thing just blows out a ton of heat. We're gonna start up on high. That's on the wind. Uh, all right, this is getting warm. Wow, look at the inside. I'm gonna turn on the, the inside. This is what the inside looks like. I'm actually gonna lift the louvers up. It's doing it all mag louvers. Now it's just drawing out a ton of heat. I don't know if the airflow is as good as it can get, but it's a ton. There's the ceramic coils in there. But there's a strong centrifugal or squirrel cage fan in there. This thing's just drawing out a ton of freaking heat. I can't I can't keep my face to this, so I shouldn't keep my phone there either, but there's the inside of it. And there's a nice P package grill right here. This thing really, really reminds me of a heat pump. I'm gonna turn on these levers. I'm probably if if something goes wrong with the heater. With the Lasco all season tar fan heater, I'll, I'll, I'll stop getting that and I'll just get one of these newer Motion Heat Plus heaters. Because you cannot go wrong with this. This thing, we had this heater in many houses. We had this, we had this in, I think we had this back in the apartments too, back when we were in the apartments. This thing is indestructible. Beautiful dermostat. Really nice looking dermostat. I wish it was just slanted up a little bit, but that's just tiny. So now let's see. Dermostat. I wish it had touch sensitive buttons, but remember this is an older model. 70 degrees. I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate the uh, oscillation feature. That still works completely fine. This is how air conditioners should be built. They should be being brought from house to house. It is in fact 61 degrees down here. Wow, I didn't know it could get cold that cold. And then again, the heat is broken. But at Dad's house, the heat will kind of work a little bit. And the heat will kind of work, which probably brings it up to operating temperature. So, weird. It is 61 degrees. It's probably going to be cold. It is going to be colder at Dad's house. Because it gets to 61 degrees in the computer room, which usually stays warmer than everything else. So, yeah. Now we're getting a little bit of 60 hertz hum. But that... Unavoidable. I would say 120 hertz. Um, 
kind of sounds like a GE window AC indoor blower fan. Or one of those older Frigier mini compact blower fans. Auto, that means auto dermostat is not, this was not named auto, what is this? Oh. Auto eco. I don't know what the difference between how that and how eco is. But let's turn it off and go back to this. Now that's the indoor temperature and it displays the indoor temperature too. This heater is beautiful. This, if you leave it down here, this entire room will be nice and warm. And it is in fact 61 degrees down here too. So thermostat's perfect. Let me turn off the flashlight. Thermostat's working beautifully. 61 degrees. Blue light like, still breaks my freaking camera. Green light. Oh, well, green light does it too. Never mind. And my favorite part is just the louvers. Now I'm going to leave it on all the way up. So if you just let the louvers go all the way up, keep it there, it's going to act like a T tap. Very quiet fan. Almost white noise, just except for the a really loud 60 hertz hum. Now it's blowing the air directly up. I don't know if this thing has flip over. I think it just has a ball flip over switch. I mean, now it's blowing directly up. 62 is already getting warmer in here. I can feel it. So if it doesn't have a bottom mounted flip over switch, now, if this is on the floor, having the louvers pointed up is good. Now, I'm going to put this on top of the table, which it shouldn't be. And now I can show you the back. Let's take a look. Oh, that's just the reset instructions. The data sheet's on the bottom. Now it's blowing up, which is not good. So now I'm going to press the louver button. And boom, now, look at that, now it's pointing down. And heat's gonna rise anyway, so this is good. It's not supposed to be on top of a table, but it really looks like a portable air conditioner. Our Linux, our Linux ACs don't have heat. It's straight cool units with gas, which is stupid. I don't know why I can't just put heat strips in it. There it is, still looking p tack -ish. 63 degrees. I don't know how accurate the thermostat, I'm probably bouncing the heat back inside of it, which is probably why it's getting warmer. I don't know, still know what that leaf does. Beep is not too obnoxious, like on other stupid miles. <coughs> Got a little bit of dust right there. This, this, uh, this is just a really good heater. And now I'm gonna put it back on the floor and raise it back and raise the louvers back up. We don't have oscillation on because they end up blowing heat where we don't need it. You just have louver mode on. This is the heater to get. You have an in New York City apartment, their boiler is junk or or their boiler keeps blowing up hot hot crap. So you turn the valve off. This is the heater to get. Or you just have a, um, or you just have, or, or like this here, you can turn off the house AC, I mean the house heat, and use this. Or turn it down or something. I don't know. But this is just a great, great, great heater to get. This is meant for medium to large rooms. It is ceramic. So, it is something you gotta think about. Say smart. Amag electric thermostat, but we already have one. Huh. Yeah, it comes, and it comes with a digital remote with a display on it. What? Really? Oh my gosh. Sorry, I, I stopped it by accident. I didn't know it had a display, so now I really want to find the remote. Even the remote. This is. Wow. This has got to be one of the best air. This, not air conditioners, I mean, uh, heaters you can get. Like, you cannot go wrong with this. I don't know how the newer wilds work, but if you see, they, this was sold at Costco. They're not sold there anymore. Hopefully, they'll have 
Hopefully they'll be selling a motion heat, but now they have their weird 360 surround heat junk fan, or whatever it's called. It's unfortunate. But look, Sleek looks just like this paper shredder. This fits in with every house it's been in, every apartment. Like you have a studio apartment that does not have boiler, but you, but you have straight cool window air condition. You can use this to heat it. Uh, but at that point, they're just getting a refrigerator, heat window, heat pump. Beautiful lures, really smooth, no jewelry. I think he just uses his stator motor. And it still has the PTAC grill in there. This metal grill. Ooh, it's just blowing out tons of hot air. Just tons. All right, and that would be it. Please go get one of these heaters. I'm telling you to go get one right now because this this is one one of the best. The first best is the Lasco All Season Tar Fan Heater. Not that. Whoa, whoa, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. And goodbye. Braxton Rain, ten out of ten. Beautiful. Bye bye.